Hey everybody, my name is Matthew Morrison. I'm here in Harbortown Marina in Dania Beach, Florida, where our corporate headquarters is for Denison. And today I'd like to give you a preview of one of my brokerage boats, a 2015 Oceanus 55. We're going to start at the, at the plumb bow of the stem and work our way back. So this boat's equipped with a substantial bow spread stainless steel. You can see the tack point through the rigging for a code zero. Force it general on a furling drum. One less with an abundance of chain and road. And I'm gonna spin us around. Teak shows great, which is cleaned. And a sim cover some sort uh, type of clear sealant was applied. Cabin top shines like a penny just right out of the mat. So there's a self sacking car on this boat, but it, it's not doesn't have the sail nor the nor the halyard for it. So let's walk our way down the starboard gunnel. system from Genoa. And this is this is unique to this boat. It's a custom sun pad that he has forward of his Dodger. The quality's top notch. So obviously no expense was spared. You can see the quality of this icing glass. Very solid, very taut, very easy to see through. The canvas is in excellent shape. Double stitch and use cortex threading. Step down into the cockpit. So this boat's also equipped with just about every option from the factory as well. You can see it has the full upholstery package for the cushions, some beds on the coach roof. All your rigging leads aft, so rarely would you have to walk forward. Get your secondaries. Your clutch is running under a comb in your secondaries right there. And then your primaries right here at each home station. And all four are motorized. So the primary helm station is going to be your starboard helm station, where you have two multifunction BNG displays. This would just be a physical touchpad for those of you who like physical buttons for your autopilot. This deploys the swim platform, of course, and this is your bow pressure control. Also equipped on this boat, you'll find dock and go. Which I'm particularly fond of. I know it does kind of have a stigma, but in my experience, they've been worked out. Been to spent tons and tons of money going around the country to all of these boats that had this system and upgraded the hardware and the software and whatever needed to be done several, several, several times. We have a wash down it. So I'll roll to wash down to here at the home station. You can control your windlass with the chain counter. And here's the EMR display. I'm showing 763.3 hours. You also have dot side connection for water. Hot cold cockpit shower. Fusion speakers in the cockpit. One single 50 amp shore power cord. The swim platform would be dedicated life raft storage and port of that is propane and then under here would be access to your steering parser and that is for you this is a twin rotor boat so those would be for your emergency tellers Cut 
good speakers on the arch. And courtesy lighting in the cockpit. Down below, hip foot level as well as on the arch. Super, super clean. Let's take you down below. Okay, now we're in the inner suite, which is all the way forward. It's an island style, bigger than a queen. Easy to walk around, easy to make the bed. Storage on both sides. One ten outlets for your accessories, reading lights in typical Benito fashion. And this is what I like. They started this um, either on this boat or at the 48, I can't remember, but it's a separate use of space. So you have a shake, uh, a shower here. It's enclosed. The option was either this translucent, transparent, or the opaque. So this one is crystal clear. You can't be humble. And a sink right here, mirror with a medicine cabinet, a stool. This also doubles as a vanity. And then to port, we have bed. Give it a little fan eye. Now I'm going to take you out into the salon. So we enter the salon, you'll notice a retractable television to port and a settee. More storage. The upgraded Bose Acoustic S interior speakers. And then on the starboard side would be the dinette, the galley, whatever you want to call it. It's huge and it configures in a multitude of ways. Right now it's kind of set up for comfort. But these are all adjustable and swing out in different positions. Of course the dinettes are retractable um, and expandable. And to starboard is your dedicated nav station. Your control rear your right control for your fish advantage and set. Converter, fixed mount B&G, Fusion Stereo. Over here showing that we have shore coming in on each of the 30 amp legs. One's for climate, one's for everything else. Additionally, this is where you would transfer power should you need to run your genset and run off a ship. Here's everything 110 related, battery charger, water heater, and the various 110 outlets on the boat. This is just a tank and battery monitoring system. This is a universal switch. If you want to kill all your cabin lights, boom. Turn them back on, boom. And then everything else 12 volt from from your water pump to your nav lights to your electronics to your fridge. And this diagram that you're seeing right here notes where your water tank source. Where you have one forward for water and two midship. And then two fuel tanks aft. And then these cabinets is more storage. Of course lots of wine storage at being a French boat. No wine. Let's see if we can find the secret stash. It's, it's like it might be a good suspect. Let's see some libations. Looks more like liquor. Taking into the galley, we have a double basin sink. Should you need to conserve water, you have a seawater foot pump, which would utilize this faucet. And this would utilize fresh water from your freshwater tanks. So we run our LP cooktop with oven. Also, oh, unique to Benito is this little ad. Um, extra or dustpan. You have a dorm type refrigerator here. 
top lighting freezer here. Lots of cupboards for your provisioning. You have a hood, exhaust hood. I love you hooked up. Microwave. More wine storage. And two aft cabins, both of which appear to be symmetrical. But before I take you back there, I forgot to point out one more thing. Dishwasher in the galley. All right, now let's go aft. So in the port aft cabin, he has the washer dryer option. And most of these panels are meant to provide you access with the main or the gen set. So let's take it in the starboard cabin. Similar in size, but it doesn't have a washer and dryer in it. So obviously you'll have more storage. Now, this would probably be the VIP cabin. More storage, no washer and dryer, and you have private access to the day head. access to the day head from the salon. And I'll open up the power plant. This is a GAM or cell drive 85 horsepower with that one again. Super clean. All your access points are right here at your fingertips. See your thermostat, your dipstick, for checking your oil. And then everything's labeled, of course. So you have a C strainer for your AMR main, a C strainer for your gen set, a primary and secondary fuel filter for each. And there's plumbing for your air condition. And we are in South Florida, so I can hear that pump working. Well, thank you for uh, joining my tour today on this 2015 OCNS 55. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me directly. My name is Matthew Morrison. My phone number is 954-319-5454.